Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. I'm Joe Stunner and um, we've got ourselves a new channel here. So please, if you're new, subscribe, like the video, share the video, do what you got to do. It's all appreciated. Always appreciated. Okay, so let's talk about uh, Troy Williamson against Ted Cheeseman, which uh, happened last night, resulted in um, an absolute war, amazing fight. <laughs> Real gruel. We've, we've had a great weekend of boxing. Wilder Fury 3. But this was on a par with that. This was a great, great fight. Um, smaller scale, but, but a brilliant fight. It, it was for the British Super Welterweight uh, title, which Cheeseman held. Troy Williamson, um, he came in undefeated. Um, I had only seen him fight Kieran Smith, I think, earlier in the year. Smith was undefeated and, let me get this right, uh, Williamson stopped him, I think, in six. And I remember thinking, yeah, it's good. Good fighter, heavy hands, knows the basics well. Uh, but what's going to happen if someone puts some heat on him? That's always the question with any young undefeated fighter. Well, no surprise at all, Ted Cheeseman put some heat on Troy Williamson. Cheeseman... Never in a dull fight. Um, really asked so many questions of, of Williamson. And Williamson, to his absolute credit, answered all of them. I think probably the biggest crisis is probably too big a word. But the biggest test, if you like, was in the seventh round when Cheeseman really landed some meaty punches. And Williamson was sh shaken. He was definitely shaken. He was... It was like he was in new waters and it was sink or swim time and he swam. He, he saw out the, the round, came back and then virtually the whole fight was give and take. It was phone booth stuff. You hit me, I'll, I'll hit you, etc. About a minute or so into the 10th round, um, Cheeseman was on the ropes as he so often was took a few punches, threw a few punches back. And then Williamson landed an almighty left hook, which flattened Cheeseman. The fight was over before Cheeseman hit the canvas. And that's the first stoppage defeat of Cheeseman's career. Now, all credit to Williamson. Terrific performance. Like I say, answered all the questions, the mental questions, you know, how strong are you? Can you work through adversity? Can you keep your composure? Can you not panic? All that stuff was answered in the affirmative. And all credit to Cheeseman for asking those questions and for giving everything like he always does. But as great as the fight was, I wanted to raise another issue because I kind of worry about Ted Cheeseman. Okay. I've been a boxing fan all my life. You know, I've been a boxing fan for well over 40 years since I was a nipper. And Ted Cheeseman belongs in that bracket of Bazooka Limon, Bobby Chacon, Arturo Gatti, Matthew Saad Mohammed, you know, kill or be killed. I will give you everything and I'll go to hell and I'll come back and I'll go to hell again. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll come back again. But if I don't come back, if I end up getting smashed up, I'm going out on my shield. Kind of like Deontay Wilder yesterday. Whatever you think of Wilder, and God knows I've, had, I've said some criticisms of him and some rude things about him, he's a fighting man and his courage is immense. And it's the same with Cheeseman. Now, this is great because for us as spectators, because we love all this stuff. Yeah, you know, it's brilliant stuff. Yeah, you know, we're going to look at that. Wow, what a punch. Oh, what a fight. You know, there's blood flying everywhere. But these are human beings. And when their career ends, I mean... Do you want to see a fighter walking on his heels? Do you want to see him slow in his words? We can all think of examples of fighters who are in that in that position. And some of them are great, great fighters. Tommy Earns is one of my heroes as a kid. It's sad to see him interviewed now. Meldrick Taylor is another one. James Tony. Brilliant fighters, but, you know, their, uh, their neurology isn't what it was. Let's put it that way. And that kind of raises the question, well, what do you do? What do you do about this? 
Cheeseman gets checked out. He passes all the tests. He goes into another war. Because don't forget, I mean, you know, if, when he only fought for the European title against Sergio Garcia, he took a shellac and he took a battering in that fight. It was almost, it was almost like he wanted to be hit. And I think he had some personal problems outside the ring, but he went the distance. But <sighs> then there was the Eggington fight, and every fight he's in is an absolute war. And he's, I think he's only about 26. But in fistic terms, I mean, the sort of pugilistic miles on the clock, he's in his mid to late 30s. So you've got to worry about this. I don't know what the answer is, how we protect these fighters from themselves. I don't want to see any of them get really badly hurt. So it's kind of a, it's an open-ended question, really. I don't really have the answer to it. Um, but well done, Troy Williamson, for a British title win. Ted Cheeseman, I hope he's OK. I hope his career don't go on for too much longer because I don't want to see him hurt, but he's created some fantastic boxing memories. I'm one of the people that had the privilege of seeing him. I sat ringside and watched him for one of his earlier fights. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about the fight? And what do you think the answer is for protecting fighters from themselves? Uh, leave your comments below. Um, like I say, this is Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, thanks for listening. And uh, see you again sometime. You take care.